Hey everybody, Cranshark here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I glue in my LED eyes. Alright, so today we're going to glue in the LED eyes. Some materials that you're going to need, obviously, your LED eyes. And in another movie or video, I uh, showed you how to solder them together. And you're going to need your faceplate. This one is the Walsh Mark 39. Thanks Walsh again for such a great model. Been a lot of fun doing this build. And you can see it's got a lot of detail inside and that's gonna be a bit of a challenge for gluing this in, but we'll show you how to figure all that out. And then I use this E6000 glue. I've used hot glue. I've tried CA glue, that was a disaster. But this, this glue seems to work well for me and holds the LED eyes in place. Hot glue gets kind of messy and stringy. I noticed with heating and cooling over time, it pops out. So that's kind of why I've chosen this E6000 glue. I'm also going to wear some protective gloves. So if I do get glue on my hands and stuff, it doesn't make a total mess and get on my skin. All right, so let's get started. So I'm gonna get my gloves on here. And I'm gonna do one eye at a time. This takes a little more time. I'm not going to try and do both. So I'm going to start with the left eye. And you can see it's going to be a little tricky because they're, they're stuck together here through the weld. So if you tried to do both, you'd be fumbling around trying to get it to fit. But as you can see, if I do one and just kind of get this other one out of the way, should be able to get it all mounted. First thing I do is without gluing anything uh, or anything else is I just want to get it lined up and see how it's going to turn out. Uh, I'm going to look to see if there's any gaps around if I didn't put it too high or too low. So that looks pretty good right there. And you can see some of the detail, the raised detail is uh, going to make it a little bit of a challenge on either side. Uh, you'll also notice in a previous video I've already preheated these and shaped them around the eyes. I've got another video on that. Uh, and I'm going to use some of these raised pieces in the 3D print to uh, actually help line it up and guide it. So you can see this little hexagon here is is lining up it's going to hold the edge right there so when i glue it in uh, i'm going to i'm going to look to line it up there on that edge same thing this piece right here i think instead of trying to go on top of it it's going to create a little bit of a gap right here but that's down on the low side and when people are looking at me they're not going to be looking down on me uh, i'm over six foot tall so there's not very many people taller than me and I'm usually looking down on everybody else. When I'm wearing my suit, I actually stand at like six foot four or six foot five with the uh, legs and stuff being so long. So, okay, so I think I've got a good position and this is where I'm gonna glue it in. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna take the front protective lens off Oh yeah, that's stuck in there nice. So, you know, you com it comes with this protective stuff so that you don't scratch up your lenses while you're getting it ready. So I'm going to do that next. I'm going to peel that off. I'm going to check alignment again. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue in there. And you're going to see, you don't need a ton of glue for this. Just a little bit. So let's go ahead and take off the protection on the left side. Here, let's just get that out of the way. That's stuck on there pretty well, probably from heating. So, and then gently take this off. You can see how the foil is coming off a little bit there. So you want to be careful of that when you peel off your lenses. Little trick, where's my X-Acto knife? Bear with me here. Okay, I had to dig my X-Acto knife out. What I will do, so I don't pull, peel that foil off, I don't know if you can see it here, is I'm just going to get my 
X-Acto blade underneath there a little bit. And I'm going to use it to kind of pin it down and hold it in place. And I'm doing this in the air, which is kind of difficult. It's better if you just lay it down on your desk and do this. Okay, there we go. What this foil does is it covers up the LED eye, or the LED in the eye, and it just helps reflect the light back into the lens. Okay, so I got that off. The other thing you want to watch out for is, I don't know if you can see the dots or not. I'll peel this back. So the dots are painted on the lens on one side. Make sure that's the inside of your lens when you go to install these. And this is the outside. Uh, otherwise, you're going to turn on your LED eyes and you're going to blind yourself all the lights just going to reflect back into the mask. Alright, so line that up again. Okay, looking good. Yeah, it may overlap. I think I'm going to overlap that a little bit more on the lower side just to make sure we got good coverage. Yeah, right there. Double checking again. Finding some markers that I can line this up with so that when I go to put it in I'm not going to smear the glue around and get it all over the place. So you can see you've got the little in cut here from the helmet and that lines up nicely with the corner. So I've got this hexagon and this corner to line up with as long as well as this little piece right here. So all right, here we go. Moment of truth. Okay, one of the fun things with these foil can type containers is once you squeeze a little bit it just starts coming out and flowing so I'm gonna get a paper towel here ready so I'm gonna use the paper towel to wipe up any excess that way I'm not gooping it all over the place you can see it's already oozing out don't want to waste too much and like I said don't need a lot I'm gonna put a little bit right here and put a little bit out on the edge here. And you remember that that came out onto this corner here. What I could have done too is mark that. I'm going to put like a little bit right along here just to make sure. Okay. So you can see it's stringing and creating some problems and it's oozing out. Just gonna nip that in the bud right there, get the lid back on so that when I have it setting down, it's not gonna ooze all over my mat. Okay, so the glue's in place. Now I'm going to carefully, and I mean carefully, you don't wanna smear this around. Just get that right in place. And I'm gonna hold that in place there. And I'm going to pause right there because I don't think you want to sit here for the next 30 minutes while I hold this in place. I don't think it's like 30 minutes, probably maybe like 5-10 minutes. So maybe get a video or something queued up that you like to watch. And you can see i got the corners lined up, the hex lined up. And we're good. See you in a moment. Okay, so we've allowed the glue enough time to dry on this side. Now we're just going to apply a little bit on this side. Uh, we've already lined it up, gotten it all prepared. I already peeled off the backing. And you can see what's a little tricky here is finagling with the wires. So got to be ready for that when we go to insert this in. But I'm going to get that all lined up again. Get the wires where they need to be. Okay. You can see the uh, protective coverings coming off a little bit there. Okay, again, just a little bit. That's all you need. And 
just carefully get everything lined up and in place. Hold that down for a bit. And let that dry. It takes about 24 to 48 hours for this to fully cure, so don't uh, don't start playing around with it just yet or installing it. Uh, give it a good day or two to really set up and cure so they don't pop out while you're trying to put the rest of the motorization kit in. So hope that was helpful. Okay, so we got the eyes glue all glued in. As you can see, I added a little more hate shrink. A little black there to make it match the inside of the faceplate there more so it looks good and overall it came out really well we're going to test it and make sure it still works before we install it in the helmet so let's uh, plug that okay. in so let's plug this in and make sure everything's still working before we actually install it in the helmet we're going to grab our AM6 board. Might as well leave the servos all hooked up and everything for effect. Plug this in right here. Power it on. That's a good sign. The LEDs are lighting up. And we get the blink on effect. And everything's working great. I think we're ready to install this in the helmet next. Okay, so that was a short video just on gluing the eyes in. You notice I didn't use a lot of glue. I got everything lined up. I tested everything along the way and made sure I was happy with where everything was. And we are in a really good position now to install this in the helmet. So. I'll get another video put together of actually putting everything into the helmet next.